Welcome back everybody. This is an unfortunate video to have to do, but I think it's kind of the right thing to do. Uh, James, I met James in 2014 and considered him a friend. My wife considers him a friend. And I know a lot of you consider him a friend as well. Obviously he passed recently. And the reason I'm doing this video is because I know there's a lot of you that in one way or another were connected to James. So um, I just really want to get the word out on his party that he's having. Uh, so his family did a video and they announced that uh, James did not want to have a funeral or anything like that. What he wanted to have was a party uh, celebrating his life. It will be out at the Tactical Response Range uh, this Saturday. That's the 10th. I believe it starts at 6 p.m. and going through the 11th. You know, they've encouraged folks to bring guns and stuff because America. Um, so that really is what I wanted to get out with this video. So if you guys are interested in that, uh, head over to the, I'm sure the Tactical Response website. It has some information over there. And uh, that's really the big point of the video. Um, just because I know people will ask. Uh, again, I met James in 2014, uh, right when I first started doing YouTube. And from at that time, it's important to remember there weren't a lot of gun tubers. It was basically James, uh, Iraq Veteran 888, uh, Such, Hickok, nothing fancy. I may be forgetting somebody else, Military Arms Channel. And that was really it. So, somebody like me, when I met James, I probably had 5,000 subscribers at most. And he treated me. Uh, just awesome from the beginning you know at the time he was huge and i was no nobody and uh it just obviously speaks to his character and uh really anybody who ever met james in person that i've ever spoken to all has positive things to say about him the people i know who say negative things about james don't know him personally and they just react to the way he you know portrays himself or portrayed himself on camera or other um, and that's fine everybody's entitled to their opinion but he's the kind of guy who just always would do anything for me and for no reason re expecting nothing in response you know what i mean uh it just again speaks to his character um and again as our channels grew together his eventually got deleted i think his channel now that he reinstituted has like 150,000 subscribers but believe me his old channel had way 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 more than that and the reason his channel was deleted essentially is because he was too much of a patriot and if there's ever a reason to have a channel deleted that's the one that we can all aspire to. So um, really, I mean, I could have stories for a long time about James and, 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 and I think everyone has those stories who met him. He was a great guy and I'm glad that his family is having a, a celebration to honor his life because it's a life worth honoring. Um, he did more to help to preserve our constitutional rights, reinstitute our constitutional, constitutional rights than 99.9% .9 of Americans. And that's something we should honor. Absolutely, without question, and something that we should all strive to do as well, I think, and I, I certainly do. So that's it. Again, with a heavy heart, I miss you, James, and uh, hopefully you're looking down from above during the party this weekend.